Now at 530 Women's Health Headlines, where we focus on health stories specifically impacting women and varicose veins affect almost twice as many women as men and are more common in older women. Joining us now to talk about these veins is Dr. Michael Hallisey with Jefferson Radiology. Dr. Hallisey, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Erin. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So tell us a little bit about what exactly varicose veins are and what should us women be looking for? Well, varicose veins are enlarged, twisted, bluish or purple blood vessels that uh, occur on the skin in the leg. They're caused by damaged veins. Uh, they can be painful or throbbing uh, and uh, patients can notice them if they're wearing a dress or shorts. As you mentioned, they're much more common in women than men. This runs in my family, so it's definitely something that I need to look out for. Is there a specific age where it starts to become more prevalent? It can happen at any age, and you're right. There is a family predisposition to veins, enlarged veins. If your mother has had enlarged veins, you can uh, be predisposed to having enlarged veins. It's truly a medical problem in that it, there can be an underlying problem due to the blood vessels. So say you do have varicose veins, you wanna get it treated. Does insurance cover that sort of treatment? Yes, uh, and fortunately, medical insurance companies have recognized that this is a significant medical problem and that if you catch it and treat it early, it's not just cosmetic, it's really a medical problem. If it lingers for too long as patients get older, it can lead to skin breakdown and ulceration. It can also affect people's activities of daily living, missing work and problems like that. So insurance companies support treating varicose veins because it gets patients back to work and it leads to less problems later on in life. All right, so clearly early detection, very important. Good to know about the insurance. If someone's watching right now and they're worried they may have varicose veins, what's the first step that they should be taking? Well, they can speak to their physician, and I would recommend that they see a vein center expert. Uh, it's a very simple evaluation for varicose veins. Although the veins are visible on the skin, the underlying problem can be identified with a simple ultrasound and patients can be worked up like that. And then the best treatments can be recommended for patients. All right. A lot of good information there. Dr. Michael Hallisey, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Erin.